From Europe to the Middle East, the world's tyrants are on the march. Russia has invaded Ukraine, Iran-backed terrorists have attacked Israel, and China is menacing this peaceful Pacific island. The world is on fire with wars raging on two continents, and we must make sure that the fires of war do not spread here as well. Taiwan needs more anti-ship missiles, mobile ground-based air defense capabilities, smart mines, anti-aircraft guns, mobile cruise missile launchers, and unmanned intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance systems. You are showing that when given the chance to live in... Sending a message that you will not be deterred by their threats will require historic defense investments, investments that will not only increase Taiwan's military capabilities, but demonstrate your commitment and willingness to sacrifice to defend your freedom and way of life. If you do your part, and I believe America will do its part as well, together, we will make certain there will be no zero day in Taiwan. I think it is essential to remind us all of the importance of shining a very bright light on the behaviors of authoritarian states whether we are talking about China or Russia, the DPRK or Iran or their agents. When I say remind us all, I mean remind those democracies that do seek to uphold the global rules-based order. It's been an extraordinary service to our nation, including starting as a diplomat in Canberra. We know that authoritarian states are supercharging the growth of their own defence capacity. For the democracies of the region, it is essential that we are focused and committed to addressing our own capabilities at the same time as we work across the diplomatic space to engage and address both our shared interests and, importantly, our differences. Mr. Jacques de Leo, Professor of Political Science, Director of the Centre for the... Thank you for joining us in this part and